Okay, today we are looking at what I call Rainbow. I'll start with the song. You have given me the truth. I will live to have you. Jehovah, I will live to you. Yeah. Of course, anytime there is rainbow, you know, uh, there are lots of stories that there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So some people you know, go on an adventure to go and discover the pot of gold. Uh, South Africa has been referred to as the rainbow nation. And in more recent times, the LGBTQ uh, symbol is actually that of a rainbow. But let's go to scripture. I set my rainbow in the cloud and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Of course, we know that the rainbow is actually a natural occurrence. And usually there's some kind of shower, the sun is shining, you know, there's some kind of infraction. And that's what actually causes the rainbow. So it's always been there right from the creation. You know, what God uses as a sign uh, to say that he will no longer destroy the world by flood, after the uh, flood that destroyed the world with Noah. Uh, but that doesn't mean that there is no coming destruction, and that's why we need to pay, pay attention to this, because there is still going to be another coming destruction, and that is why you want to be in the ark, which is Christ, make a commitment to the Lord, so that when that other destruction comes, which is not water, but fire next time around, you, know, you can also be saved in the ark.